I, I took Jesus' advice. I took his advice and said, okay, he says to bring all your troubles and your, your, your worries and lay them at the foot of the cross. Yeah. And so I took my addiction, I went to the cross, I laid them there, and I turned around and walked away. Yeah. And that's, that's where awesome, they stayed. Man. And that's where they stayed. Yeah. And as you know, I'm not going back. But you know, even without, without the help of like from Life Moves, I was done. Mm -hmm. I knew I don't want to use anymore. No right. matter who is there to help me or not, I have to, I, it all starts with me and ends with me. If I don't make that decision, no one's going to make it for me. Right. You know right. what I mean? But if it wasn't for Jesus looking out, I know it's all Jesus. I know it is because he loves me enough to say, hey, I got, there's a better life for you. And right. I always called and prayed and everything. And when I finally just decided I don't want to get high anymore, I had, he had my back. Yeah. You know? You know, I think... Some of the things I'm, I get from your message, too, that I want people that listen to this and, and watch the uh, YouTube channel is that, you know, it's one is, is having people behind you praying for you, mm -hmm. right? That relationship, not only the relationship you have with Jesus, but the relationship that your grandma had and yes. your mom. And, mm -hmm. you know, and you, you, you know, you, you, you sometimes you even think like, you know, you know, your grandma's passed away, but mm -hmm. she's in heaven and, oh, for you sure. know, looking down at you and yeah. praying for you. And I'm, I, you know, I just, I believe in the, the power of prayer. Yes. I mean, it just, the power of prayer just doesn't end, right? And, no, it does not. And, and, uh, and then that there's that. And then the fact that you have people that are willing to take a chance, yes. you know, and I think one of the things that people need to know when it comes to homelessness and um, addiction and stuff is that, you know, it's it's a risk for people to take a chance, mm -hmm. but we have to take a chance. Yeah. We have to be willing to, sure. to let somebody know that we're there for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, Miss Deborah and, um, uh, you know, I, you know, myself and the ministry mm -hmm. and yeah, stuff you're, like you're, that. You're being, a very big part being, of it. Being I mean, you were, of, you were the guy who got me in. You took me to city team and, and introduced me to that old thing. So you're part of that journey. You're definitely, you're like the, the start of it. Yeah. You know, you, you, you remember you took me out for lunch yeah. and then you took oh, that's me up right. and, that's right. and you yeah, dropped me off. And then that's yeah. what really started this journey was yeah. you too, you know, and then, then guys like Charles and, oh, definitely. you know, it, it's, it's, it, you know, um, and, and that's really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to hear that about Charles Knuckles because mm -hmm. I really like Charles Knuckles. Oh, I love the guy. And, uh, <laughs> him and I, it's really funny. So him and I just so a little backstory, him and I have had a, uh, kind of a rough relationship oh, really? uh, when we first met because you know he's all about city team uh -huh. and I'm all about street life ministries right, right. and trying to get guys in there and so him and I always kind of we butted heads a little bit and then uh, one time we went out to uh, this uh, place called I think it's I think I always say the name wrong but it's called La Barrage it's like mm -hmm. a kind of a bagel, like a fancy bagel, like a Noah's bagels, but it's kind of like uh, a fancy style. Okay. Anyway, so we went out there and had lunch one time with him and uh, James Alvarado. And uh, we just cleared the air. And it was like, from that point forward, everything was smooth. And then a year later, he retires. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, no, don't retire. <laughs> have you ever heard Have you ever heard Charles's testimony? Oh, yes. Oh, man, it's it's incredible. It's oh like, are you serious? Yeah. As he was telling his story, uh, and he, he'll giggle a little bit as he's telling it. But we're like, no way. I know. Are you serious? Yeah, I know. When he told his testimony one time and he was talking I'm about just what he got shot, yeah. And it just mm -hmm. like he didn't even know it. It's just, it, yeah, it's, it's and powerful. And he had that piece of rope around his neck. From, yeah. yeah, just it's powerful. Yeah, it's powerful. Man. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> but you know, I, I say that, you know, not to, obviously not to break somebody's <laughs> anonymity, obviously, but his anonymity is pretty much out, out on Front Street. But... <laughs> It's guys like that yeah. that um, understand guys like us mm -hmm. that actually help us. Yes, because if you, you know, I've met a lot of people who have read about addiction in textbooks. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't do much. No, you have to be, you know, I don't know how people can judge. You know, like I don't judge homeless people and I don't judge addicts because I, I was both, mm -hmm. you know, and they, they kind of go hand in hand. 